Hey, 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 steady, steady, please like and subscribe. So this is a very interesting video, hopefully a very quick video. It's on the artifact of Berserker's brooch and its uses, particularly into Luce and one mystery uh, commander. So anyway, please uh, click on the icon, the Deck Heroes icon. We're going to have lots of fun. Deck Heroes icon, click on subscribe, good to go. Anyway, so yesterday I did a very quick video, <laughs> quick video. I did some uh, alter battle videos. And um, very interesting, I saw Siege on there, that was very interesting, I've already talked about Siege, they actually are very useful, especially when you can get a kill zone, every effect of things like altars. But anyway, I thought this one guy, pay to play like myself, he had even had better equipment than myself, which is still sinking in. And um, anyway, he used Attila with, Attila's just right here, you see just to the bottom middle of the screen, you beautiful little boy. Um, I'm joking, obviously. So I uh, used a tiller with uh, Nevsky, uh, and he beat me. You know what I mean? He had marginally more troops, but the fact is he beat me. I think mainly because the tiller's immune to silence. But next day, aka today, we've got this artifact. Now, I don't know about using a tiller with um, Nevsky, but I can think of somebody else it would be amazing for. Let's look at Attila's skills, though. Let's look at Attila's skills. I have not invested in uh, many Cav until very recently. Let's look at these skills and think about... You tell me who you think will do amazing with that artifact of a different faction. Who would do amazing with this? Okay, so <laughs> normal damage bonus up to... 30% normal damage. Some may say that's the same as uh, smite damage. <laughs> and as a bonus on top of that, got a counter attack damage bonus. Hmm, I wonder if somebody's got area effects damage and smite damage who may well get a lot of counter attacking. So with the bonus damage that we give in return. And with that armor, armlet, armament, whatever whatever it's called, you know, the thing we just talked about. I wonder where that might come in useful. Hmm. But not only that, they get an attack reduction of up to 50%. Now, mine says 30%. Obviously, it's not maxed. I didn't invest in him at all. But maybe I can think of somebody to pair him up with for this four-day tide where we go into, you know, um... A final battle in KVK. You took listen. I think you're already probably thinking the same as me. Right. So this is based on um, his conquering skill when you're attacking a city. That's not as relevant. Not relevant at all, in fact. But anyway, got on to honor honoria, another passive skill. Okay. So this commander takes up to fifteen percent less skill damage. Maybe that'll be useful but also deals 30% less skill damage. Now, the pair that I've got in mind, you know what I mean, this smite damage commander, doesn't deal skill damage. It doesn't matter. Hmm. <laughs> Unless you can see, I've got that berserker's brooch on, if you look towards the bottom of the screen, middle bottom. Hmm, infantry commander. Okay, let's read on, let's read on. Um, cav uh, cav well, brackets, it says cavalry brackets, infantry. Units in their troop gain, you know, the extra mark speed, but also up to 40% attack. I know it says 20, the 40 is grayed out. Okay, so up to 15% skill damage reduction and an additional 40% attack. We go on. Um, and obviously I don't have it maxed yet, but um, I did invest the 499 on the bundle to, to try and get him... Well, I go from two to three, so it's a good work in progress. I could just spend that whilst he invests in other things, I guess. Um, maybe. <laughs> only maybe because I've only can use him in a tide for four days. But if they brought out a smite, a decent, another decent smite damage commander, he can pair him up with Attila. I don't know if they can because of you, Attila. It's just too, anyway, because you're just too good. Um... If this commander's troop contains only cavalry brackets with the artifact infantry units, whenever it launches a basic attack, it has a chance to gain a bonus to damage dealt off. Are the 20%, 25%?
or 50% bonus to damage. <laughs> With a cooldown of a whole 10 seconds. That's ages. But I think it's because there's a decent chance you're actually going to get this bonus. And if they did do it any other way, it would be overpowered. And uh, as I mentioned here, you could also be immune to the silence, immune to, you know, basically Huan Yu, otherwise known as Guan Yu. Anyway, they're an expertise. Their troop deals 20% more normal damage, aka smite damage, <laughs> to troops with less than 50% of units remaining. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And the big reveal of... Yeah, I think you know who I'm going to pair him up with. Um, of course. Of course. My man Luce. My man Luce. I guess technically you could get a cavalry one and pair up Luce with... As a secondary commander to Attila. You could do it that way. You could go full crazy. Um... And that way, it would be less obvious that there's an area of effect commander on the field. I haven't gone into talent trees or anything like that. And then maybe your Attila could be doing area of effect damage under the radar. Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, yeah. Mind blown. So, um, yeah, obviously, I've got him paired up with the moment. I've got the artifact on Attila at the moment. Obviously, it's only first skill, not even maximized, but very interesting and if anybody else has him i think it's going to be useful so i hope the video was useful please like subscribe don't forget click on the icon click on subscribe uh that is steve and i'm out